Welcome back, Guardians, to the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I'm Scott, and you're in the Scott Spot channel. Last time, we got the Celestial Mirror, we defeated the Chimera Geist, we got Titus' Collad Bulk, a Celestial Weapon, and Yuna's Nirvana Celestial Weapon. And that about covers the uh, majority of the Calm Lance. So let's go ahead and head to the exit. It's right up here in the northeast corner, in case you were wondering. That's the guy that leads you back to the, the Muckalania Woods, if you let him. But unfortunately, this is as far as we could take Bobby Corwin. Sorry, bud. Well, let's head on then. Let's see what awaits us. Alright, where are we now? Calmlands Near Bridge. <laughs> That's an accurate name for an area. By the way, there is a, another fight coming up here, so it's wise to use this save point. Okay, so I think that's the tunnel that leads up to Mount Gagazet up ahead. Halt! Summons from Lord Seymour. Come with us. We have nothing to discuss with Maester Seymour. Yeah, so out of our way. Lord Seymour's commands must be obeyed. You will come. I warn you. The Maester doesn't need you alive. Jeez. So this thing is called Defender X. We, I don't know why we haven't fought one of these things before, but it packs quite a punch, so you may consider wanting to uh, put some protection on everybody. Alright, so right away, let's use Heska, because once again, we're going to have these three do our be our main damage dealers, as usual. And I'm actually going to bring Kimari in real quick, because I want to use Scan and see what this guy's capable of. Do it, Kimari. Okay, 64,000 HP, so we'll have him done in no time. Immune to power break, which is good to know, because that is what I was about to do to him. Uh, boosts very high physical attack and defense. It's counterattack, blast punch to laser target, and causes damage. Cast Mighty Guard and Sloga. Good to know. Alright, well then let's u immediately use... Um, power break's not going to work. Let's use armor break. That should make this a little easier. Oh man, that does do a lot of damage. Um, let's switch Riku in then. Riku? Oh, she has an overdrive ready, doesn't she? Hmm, okay, let me figure out which one I want to use real quick. Okay, so I am mixing a Dragon Scale with a friggin' Dream Powder. Dark Rain. Wow. That wasn't too bad. Alright, let me check that off our list of uh, overdrives that we've used in the past. Alright, so who hasn't gone yet? Did we used Kamari for um, scanning. Let's see, that means Lulu still needs to go. And Yuna. Uh, what the hell? I don't think this guy has an elemental weakness, but let's go ahead and use Thundaga Fury. What else is she doing? I mean, really. Oh man, I thought I was going to get 9 for a second there. Damn, Lulu's owning this guy. Shit. Wow, well, he still has a lot of uh, damage on him. How did he get darkness on him? I guess one of us inflicted that or something? Uh, bring ye... I'll bring... Oh man, he's about to go. Okay, I'm bringing Waka out. Just to use a regular old attack here. If, he, if I'd known he was a immune... Or could have a uh, blind on him, I would've just done that immediately. Man, that does a lot of damage. Oh, I'm glad that missed. Alright, let's have... Uh, I guess I'll... No, if I attack him again, he's going to use Blast Punch. So I'm going to bring Titus out. And just defend, because I don't want him to die. Bring Yuna out next. And use Kira on Titus. 
And then, although this is probably completely unnecessary, I'm going to go ahead and haste Yuna. And then she can use Protect on Titus. And that should help some. And then I'm going to switch with Waka again. Attack. And then Yuna can cast Protect on Waka. Bring Orin out, and we'll do the same thing to him right after he attacks. By the way, I know why they did it, but I really hate the uh, freaking haste effect on characters. Alright, let's bring Titus back out. Attack. And then Yuna can cast Protect on Orin, and then we'll be set, and we can just let the boys do the rest. If not Kamari, anyway. Ow. Ooh, this is kind of close. Don't use your Blast Punch. Ooh, he's going to use his Blast Punch. Damn, I'm glad he was protected. Alright, well, let's do one last heal on Titus before we bring Waka back in, since Yuna has two turns here. And then... Waka. This thing's done for. He still has a ton of HP, though. More than I thought he would at this point. His Blast Punch seems to have like a 50% success counter rate. Man, that does a lot of damage. 1969. Wow, we've already almost charged up their overdrives already. Oh, it used Mighty Guard. Okay, well let's bring Yuna back out in that case, which is good anyway, because we I wanted her to have another turn. White Magic, um, Dispel. Let's see what Mighty Guard does. Shell, Protect, Null Tide, Null Blaze, Null Shock, Null Frost. That's it, okay. We'll get that ability before too long. It's one of Kamari's Ronso, Ronso Rages. So yeah, we just dispelled it. No big. Ooh, Blast Punch. Alright, let's do it again. I'll have Yuna use an Albed Potion to heal up. Since Kita and are hurting now. Man, I didn't realize that Yuna got overdrive points for using items to heal. Oh, he's almost dead though. And, but Titus' overdrive is full now. That's not going to save you, son. I'm sorry. In fact, this should finish you. Or, it might not. Okay, there we go. One more attack. Now, I'm tempted to finish him off with an overdrive, but that would just be unnecessary. Ooh, he killed Waka, though. Damn it. I thought I was about to finish this fight. Huh. <sighs> Titus, bring him back. I guess I could have brought Yuna in to use life instead of wasting a Phoenix down. Dear Jesus. Alright, Yuna, use life instead of wasting our Phoenix downs, like I just said. Now, there's probably a better way to do this battle, but for all intents and purposes, we did okay, I think. And Defender X can't be captured, of course. And everybody leveled up. Neat. Lulu and Yuna are still stuck at places, though. We did get a level 2 key sphere, not that we really have a dire need for one right this second. Okay, with that known, let's, uh, actually, let's go ahead and head down. This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know your way around, yeah? Huh? What's that all about? You know, I just remembered that we forgot to do something back on the calm lands. Uh, oh well, well, no, let's go do it. Let's go do it right now. All right, so um, I'm gonna meet you at like the northern edge of the calm lands. Cause there is a scene there and then another little mini side quest that I forgot to do. Let's go ahead and heal real quick. Okay, I apologize, but I accidentally activated the scene that I was talking about a second ago. Basically, there's this woman who looks just like the Chocobo Trainer Lady who's at the very northern central edge of the calm lands, and as soon as you approach her, it initiates this cut, uh, a brief scene. This gorge is called the Scar. They say that when the High Summoner cornered Sin, Sin tore the earth here asunder with the last of its strength. 
the High Summoner and Sin struck each other down at the gorge's bottom. Lord Gandalf's sacrifice brought us the calm. Isn't that such like a weird brief scene? And they didn't even give it any voice acting, which makes it even, even weirder. And then it shows like the entire party looking like it's an event. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna have to get off our chocobo here. Unfortunately. Thanks for the ride again, Bobby Corwin. Alright, she just says the exact same thing, I guess. That's a blah blah blah. Anything else? In the calm lands, we bury our dead in this gorge. We cannot send them because few summoners ever make it this far. Wow, I wouldn't want to live here then. I've heard that the dead that don't receive a proper sending roam the bottom of the gorge as fiends. Wow, I don't want to go down there. It's kind of surprising that you never do go down there. Although I think they added something related to that scar in the international release, if I'm correct. Alright, but anyway, the other thing that I wanted to do while we were here... Um, so, we probably didn't have this, the Albed primers that we needed to translate it at the time. But there was a Albed sign near the beginning of the southern end of the Meehan High Road. And it translated to, There is a valley and a vast plain with a great thorn beside. From the thorn, look across the vale to the other side. Okay, so we are at a valley and a vale and there is a great thorn right in front of us. So if we examine it, uh, let's read that again. And it's written in Albed again. With the veil at your back, go 49, then 7 to the right, in the truest line. Okay, so let's try it. So let's count 49 steps, and I'm pretty sure you need to walk it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we're gonna try this again. With the veil at your back, go 49. Then seven to the right, in the truest line. Okay. Let's, let's try it. And I did read up while I was battling and that it apparently is walking, so let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 17, 17. All right, we were on 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Now seven to the right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe it means seven to Titus is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That has to be it, right? Something's written here. Okay, I think we've got this now. With me at your back, go 20. Then 20 to the right. Alright, so there, it's at my back. So let's go 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. Damn it. Okay, 4. Alright, we were on 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Wait, how many were, how far were we supposed to go? Um. Oh, jeez. 20? No, wait. Um, oh yeah, 20, and then 20 to the right, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 20 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, okay, 8, so we need to go 16 more south, alright, 16 more to the south, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, it has to be this thing. Okay, how do I examine it? Okay, write 16 and write 4. Okay, but from what perspective? Uh, write 16, write 4. Write 16, write 4. Okay. Um, let's just say 1, 2, 3... Um, I totally... Okay, um... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
anything. There's nothing right around there. Okay, okay. Let's okay. Let's approach it from another direction then. All right, so we're supposed to go right 16 and right four now, right? So let's let's assume it means Titus is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four. It could be any of these, right? Oh, it's this circle right here. Wow, I never would have thought. Something is written here. Continue on. Find me. Uh, okay. Continue on this way? I have no idea what it's talking about. Um. Holy shit, what is it talking about? Alright, I'm supposed to be looking for a white spot on the ground. Okay, it's right here. Almost back exactly where we started. The password is God Hand. Okay, as hard as that was to find, uh, that will lead us to Riku Celestial Weapon later. But we can't do anything with that information now. But for now, just keep in mind that the password is God Hand. Man, that was a lot more annoying to find than I thought it was going to be. It's because you assume a lot of the directions are from your perspective and not Titus's. Okay. But that really is the last thing that we have to do on the comments for now, so I'm going to meet you back at the bridge where we fought Defender X earlier in the video. Jeez, I'm just annoyed at this point, honestly. All those battles, damn. Phew. I will say real quick that I did do some sphere grid work um, while I was doing all that. And let's see w what we know. Nothing happened with Kamari, Orin, Lulu. Man, Lulu's starting to rack up the sphere levels, though. Titus... Oh, Yuna learned Kiraga. That was the main thing. Finally. So now she can heal for like a ton of HP at once. Uh, Riku's still chugging along, as is Waka. Alright, so we started to go down into the gorge, and we were wondering why we needed to go down there, and then Lulu just sort of went off by herself without saying anything. What's up with that? Let's go down. Another safe sphere. It's a little odd. What's going on on this way? I thought I saw a crusader go off this way. Oh, but we do have a new enemy down here. Well, several new enemies, actually. Okay, so we got the mech scouter, which we will easily take down with just a quick steal. Um, I don't think Orin will be able to take this guy out with one attack. It's an epodge, by the way. Lulu, you just defend. Bring in... Yuna, because why not? She can steal from the other mech scouter. Kind of weird that they have new enemies down here. And then we got... Has Riku gone yet? I don't think she has, has she? Riku? Mug girl, mug. Oh, let's just get some high potions from it? That's lame. I'll bring in Titus and defend, because I have no idea how much HP this guy has. Actually, let's see. 8700, okay, so a couple... Maybe three attacks from a physical attacker will be all it takes. I'm glad I had Titus defend. Because Waka got a crit. Critical. Ooh, I'm going to have to do some sphere grade work here in a second. And we got Kane's Lance. Let's see what that does. Kane's Lance, Kamari. Piercing and SOS Overdrive. That's not that impressive. Alright, but my sphere grid does have three on everybody, so let me take care of that really quick. Okay, the only thing worth noting is that Titus and Kamari are now literally at the circle next to each other, which means that Titus is probably really close to getting his grid done. Just a few more sphere levels. <laughs> okay, I wanted to talk to this crusader. This land where Lady Yokin trained, and Lady Yokin is one of the high summoners, is sacred to the crusaders. Lady Yokin was a member of the crusaders before becoming a summoner. We aren't getting enough new recruits to rebuild the crusaders. I can understand why. However, we do want to recruit this girl. I think. Uh, wait, is there somebody else down here that I don't didn't see? Oh, it must be this guy. This is the guy I wanted to talk to. High Summoner Yokin once trained in this land. We Crusaders also intend to train here to challenge Sin once again. Yet our numbers have greatly diminished. Is there nothing we can do now? Well, waving your sword kind of haphazardly at an abyss isn't going to help. However, we do want to recruit this guy. I'm not saying that he's a great Blitzball player. His name is Durin. 
Uh, but he is um, missable. Like, once he's gone, he's gone. So, as a part of 100% completion, let's hire him for... Wow, how many games can you hire him for? A lot, apparently. Let's go ahead and hire him for three games, because why not? Alright, so now that that's out of the way, what is this over here? Obtained a rusty sword, and it just uh, dis disappears. That's step one in getting an uh, orange slash shield weapon. We'll have to do something else with it later. Nothing too major. All three fights that I've fought so far have been against an epodge and two of the things. Alright, so let's go ahead and save and call it an episode. Man, this one tired me out a little bit, honestly. Next episode, we shall head deeper into the gorge, into that cavern over there, which is actually a completely optional area, but there is some story to it, even though it's not a story area, so it should be semi-interesting, and the fiends there are no joke either. Next time, Guardians, thanks again for checking me out at the Scott Spot.